Всем привет! Мы снова на родине бедного Йорика. И сегодня здесь сборная России сыграет с командой Дании. Кто выигрывает, гонит в Амстердам, чтобы сыграть с Уэльсом за выход в одну четвертую финала. Кто проигрывает, машет ручкой этому евро и едет домой смотреть остальные матчи по телевизору. Сегодня в Копенгагене довольно-таки дождливо. Поэтому найти датских болельщиков и узнать у них, что они думают о сегодняшнем матче, будет немножечко проблематично. Но мы попробуем. Друзья, в это непростое время главное не забывать две вещи. Носить маски и подписываться на наш канал. И тогда вы не пропустите ни одного нового видео. И будьте здоровы. It will be a very exciting game, and uh, I think and I hope then we will win uh, two two series. Yeah. Maybe you know something about uh, Russian national team, or maybe you can name some Russian players. Uh, no, I don't know any from the Russian team. Sorry for that. I expect uh, a win from Denmark. It's difficult, but uh, those teams have to uh, to win, so. I have to give all. What do you know about the Russian team? Just that they are very strong people and they have a people who are very fast and that can be a problem, but uh, I think we will we'll manage. And maybe you can name any of Russian players? No, no, I can't do that. Of course we win with 2 or 3 nil. Okay. <laughs> That's my expectations. And, uh, Yeah, the fans will go crazy in the stadium. Yusuf Paulsen will score, Simon Kjær, something like that. When we met here before the tournament start, you said that Denmark will win Russia 1-0 and Ericsson will score. Now, unfortunately, we know that Ericsson will not score, but uh, your prediction for the final result is the same? 1-0? No, not anymore. First of all, I think that we have uh, a Very, very, very good team. I will not uh, uh, say that Russia is not a good football team, but I must say that that player by player, that then we are better. We also have a better collective. And for us, when we score the first goal, then Russia have to go forward. And after that, I think it it can be magic. So I will go back to uh, 85 when we actually uh, won 4-2, and I think this time we will win 4-0. That's what that's what I think. Yeah, because now the situation is different. Now we know uh, Christian is, is okay, and the team actually know that uh, we don't have Christian X. So then they have to go together in the bus. If you understand what I mean, and uh, that means that they they will fight for each other. And I actually think that that they will be a very good collective at the Danish team. So I think uh, we can we can manage to do it uh, in this match tonight. But of course. Over a longer term, then of course we will have a big loss without Christian. But uh, then we must have other players that can uh, step up, and that's what we have because we have many, many, many good young players. They actually not are so well known as Christian is. So I think uh, they they will do a good collective, and uh, Denmark will win. And then we must see also with about what happened with Belgium and, and Finland. But also even if Belgium is playing with, let's say the. The second line, I will say that they are twice as good as Finland is. So I, I think Denmark will play Saturday in Amsterdam against Wales. That's that's my prediction. Ну что, вы сами все слышали. Теперь нашим парням остается только выходить на поле и доказывать, что скандинавы тоже иногда бывают неправы. Подписывайтесь на канал, жмите лайк, ставьте колокольчик, и тогда мы обязательно увидимся в Амстердаме.